I don't know. I just don't like it. What is there not to like? I just don't see the point of so many walkthroughs from the toy inspection agency. I mean for years we've been making toys directly for Santa Claus. He always trusted us to be doing a good job before. Things around here just haven't been the same since Santa went to that conference on data-driven decision making. Mr. Claus says it's because we've got to remain competitive in a global economy. Walmart has been cutting into our market shares. We've got to compete with private sector elves in China. Yeah. Well, I got into this job because I love making toys and seeing how happy they make kids. Now it feels like I'm always doing something wrong. Well if it's any consolation, Mr. Claus assures us that he's not evaluating us. He's evaluating our outputs. Sounds like the same thing to me. And I don't like the way the toy inspection agency keeps showing up with surprise walkthroughs. It puts me on edge. I don't like how they put my toys under the microscope and enter data into their handheld computers that spit out suggestions. Last time I was told that should be able to hammer each nail with five and a half strokes instead of six. Mr. Claus tells us that some elves are more effective than others. More effective elves only take five and a half hammer strokes. That is best practice. More effective at what? How can you measure the love I put into my work or the joy a child receives from it? Well, it seems you can. Mr. Claus has been sending out customer satisfaction surveys along with each present for the past few years. That's ridiculous. They are just children. Mr. Claus has also been collecting data about how long our toys last before being discarded. That's crazy. We've got no control over that. Some kids are harder on their toys than others. Mr. Claus says he's only interested in outcomes now. If some elf can make a toy that lasts longer, then every elf must be held accountable for reaching the same high standard. Yeah, well, I'd be worried about that. I've noticed that we were getting cheaper materials to build our toys with every year. It's not likely our toys will last as long now. Mr. Claus says that the truly effective elves are able to get the same results in terms of child satisfaction and toy longevity, no matter what materials they are given. No excuses are permitted. That makes me mad as hell. Has anyone gone to our union about this? Yes. They say that their hands are tied because their approval ratings are down. Why? Ever since the blockbuster movie. Waiting for Super Elf, everyone blames the union for protecting incompetent elves, for the recession, for world poverty and, most of all, for having their summers off. I can go along with most of that, but how can we be held accountable for world poverty? In the movie, Bill Gates, president of the Christmas Foundation, says that if we elves just made enough presents, everyone would get everything they wanted. The problem is that there are just not enough effective elves. Gee, that kind of makes me feel guilty. Well, it's not all bad news. Some of us will be getting a Christmas bonus this year. But Santa always used to give everyone a Christmas bonus. Mr. Claus says that bonuses are more effective at achieving results when distributed unequally. It sounds to me like Santa is just trying to sneak in performance pay. No, not at all. Santa says he's just rewarding great toy making. But how come you got one and I didn't? I've been working here for 40 years, and you've only been working here for 17 minutes. That may be true, but bonuses are based on our efficiency, not seniority. New data reveals that elves fresh out of elf school and desperate for employment are 10% more efficient than those with job security. I can't believe this is what it's come to. Hey, where's everyone? All the presents are made for this year. I thought this was supposed to be a Christmas party. Why are we the only two here? Oh, didn't you get the green memo? They are putting in voluntary free overtime to meet the new toy improvement targets for next year. Then why aren't you out there working as well? Oh, didn't you get that brown memo either? I've been hired as your informal leader. It was my understanding that this was to be our first conference. Oh, I see. Do you mind if I throw up? <coughs>
That sounds like a reasonable request, but before you do, <laughs> I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish you a heartfelt Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year, and to, to suggest that you get back to work <gasps> as soon as you have cleaned up. <laughs>